Hello friends, today we will study about antigen. Types of antigen that is complete antigen and haptins or incomplete antigen and factors of antigenicity we will discuss in this video. An antigen is a substance which when introduced into a body evokes immune response to produce a specific antibody with, with which it reacts in an observable manner. Now let's know about types of antigen. They may be classified as complete antigen and haptins or incomplete antigen. Complex haptins, simple haptins. Now let's know about complete antigen. These are substances which are induced which can induce antibody formation by themselves and can react specifically with these antibodies. Now let's know about haptins. Haptins are substances unable to induce antibody formation on its own but can become immunogenic when covalently linked to proteins called carrier proteins. However, haptins can react specifically with induced antibodies. These antibodies are produced not only against the haptin but also against the carrier proteins now complex haptins let's know about complex haptins complete uh, complex haptins can combine with specific antibodies to form precipitate example capsular polysaccharide of pneumococci second is simple haptins Simple haptins combine with specific antibodies but no precipitate is produced. This is due to univalent character of simple haptins whereas complex haptins are pre um, polyvalent. It is assumed that precipitation occurs when antigen has two or more antibody combining states, combining sites. Now let's know about pro-antigens. Pro-antigens are low molecular weight substances which do not induce antibody. Which do, uh, which do not induce antibody formation but can cause delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Example, dinitrochlorine uh, chlorobenzene that is in short DNCD. Antigenic determinant that is epitope is the smallest unit of antigenicity antigen possesses a number of these determinants each type of determinant induces a specific antibody formation the size of antigenic antibody formation the size of the antigenic determinant is around 25 to 34 angstrom and a molecular weight of about 400 to 1000 the combine the combining site on the antibody molecule corresponding to the epitope is called the paratope now let's know about factors of antigenicity the exact basis of antigenicity is not clear but a number of factors have been implicated which make a substance antigenic the factors are foreignness size chemical nature, susceptibility to tissue enzymes, antigenic specificity, species specificity, isospecificity, autospecificity, organ specificity and heterophile specificity. Now let's know about foreignness. A. An antigen must be foreign to the individual. Now that means non-self to induce an immune response. The immune system does not normally mount an immune response against his own antigen. This tolerance to self antigen is due to continuous contact with them during the development stage, developmental stages of immune system. However, breakdown of this mechanism results in autoimmune diseases. The antigenicity of a substance is related to degree of its non-self nature. The more, the more foreign a substance, it is likely to be more powerful antigen. Antigens from other individuals of the same species are less antigenic as compared to those from other species. Now let's know about the size. Larger molecules are highly antigenic whereas low molecular weight are either 
नॉन एंटीजेनिक और वीकली एंटीजेनिक सब्सटेंसेस सब्सटेंस विथ लो मॉलिकुलर वेट में बी रेंडर्ड एंटीजेनिक बाय एडजर्बिंग दीज ऑन इनर्ट पार्टिकल्स लाइक बेल्ट बेंटोनाइट और काओलिन नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट केमिकल नेचर मोस्ट नेचुरली अकरिंग एंटीजेंस आर आइदर प्रोटीन्स और पॉलिसकराइड्स प्रोटीन्स आर मोर इफेक्टिव एंटीजेंस एन एक्सेप्शन इज जिलेटिन व्हिच इज नॉन एंटीजेनिक प्रोटीन ड्यू टू इट्स लो टाइरोसिन कंटेंट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एरोमेटिक रेडिकल इज सजेस्टेड एज एसेंशियल फॉर एंटीजेनिसिटी लिपिड्स एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स आर लेस एंटीजेनिक ऑन देयर ओन बट डू सो वेन कंबाइंड विथ प्रोटीन्स नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट सक्सेप्टेबिलिटी टू टिश्यू एंड जैम्स सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच कैन बी मेटाबोलाइज्ड एंड आर सक्सेप्टेबल टू द एक्शन ऑफ टिश्यू एंड जैम्स बिहेव एज एंटीजेंस द एंटीजन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू द बॉडी इज डिग्रेडेड बाय द एंजाइम ऑफ द फागोसाइटिक सेल्स इन टू फ्रैगमेंट्स ऑफ अप्रोप्रिएट साइज कंटेनिंग एंटीजेनिक डिटर्मिनेंट्स द हाइडन द हाइडन एंटीजेनिक डिटर्मिनेंट्स कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड ओनली वेन मॉलिक्यूल इज ब्रोकन डाउन बोबिन सेरम एल्बुमिन इन शॉर्ट बी एस ए हैज मोर देन एटीन डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑल दो ओनली सिक्स ऑफ दिज आर एक्सपोज इन द इंटर इंटैक्ट मॉलिक्यूल नाउ सब्सटेंसेस ऑन सक्सेप्टेबल टू टिश्यू एंजाइम सच एज पॉलिस्टेरिन लैक्टेक्स आर नॉट एंटीजेनिक सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच कैन नॉट बी मेटाबोलाइज इन बॉडी आर नॉट एंटीजेनिक सिंथेटिक पॉलीपेप्टाइड्स कंपोज ऑफ डी अमिनो एसिड्स इज वन इज वन एग्जाम्पल नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट एंटीजेनिक स्पेसिफिसिटी फिफ्थ टर्म एंटीजेनिक स्पेसिफिसिटी एंटीजेनिक स्पेसिफिसिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन एंटीजेंस एंटीजेनिक डिटर्मिनेंट्स द पोजिशन ऑफ एंटीजेनिक डिटर्मिनेंट्स ग्रुप इन द एंटीजेन मॉलिक्यूल इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर स्पेसिफिसिटी द डिफरेंसेस इन स्पेसिफिसिटी आर डिटर्माइंड इन कंपाउंड्स विद द ग्रुप अटैच्ड एट ऑर्थो मेटा और पारा पोजिशन अनदर फैक्टर इज स्पेशल कंट्रोलेशन ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट ग्रुप विच मेक्स डिफरेंसेस इन एंटीजेनिक स्पेसिफिसिटी ऑफ डेक्स्ट्रो लैबो एंड मेसो आइसोमर्स ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस एंटीजेनिक स्पेसिफिसिटी इज नॉट एब्सोल्यूट क्रॉस रिएक्शंस में अकर बिटवीन एंटीजेंस विच बी आर स्टेरियोकेमिकल सिमिलरिटीज नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट स्पेसिस स्पेसिफिसिटी टिश्यूज ऑफ ऑल इंडिविजुअल्स इन स्पेसिस पॉजिस स्पेसिस स्पेसिफिक एंटीजेंस सम डिग्री ऑफ क्रॉस रिएक्शन एग्जिस्ट बिटवीन एंटीजेंस फ्रॉम रिलेटेड स्पेसिस द स्पेसिस स्पेसिफिसिटी हैज गॉड फाइलोजेनिक जेनेटिक रिलेशनशिप्स एंड हैज बीन हैज हैज बीन ऑफ असिस्टेंस इन ट्रेसिंग ऑफ इवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप फॉरेंसिक एप्लीकेशन इन द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ स्पेसिस ऑफ ब्लड एंड ऑफ सेमिनर फ्लूड नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट आइसो स्पेसिफिसिटी आइसो स्पेसिफिसिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन आइसो एंटीजेंस व्हिच मे बी फाउंड इन सम बट नॉट ऑल मेंबर्स ऑफ ए स्पेसिस ए स्पेसिस मे बी ग्रुप्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट आइसो एंटीजेंस इन इट्स मेम्रेन्स मेंबर्स These are genetically determined. Blood grouping is one example depending on human erythrocyte antigens. Blood groups are clinically very important in blood transfusion, in iso immunization during pregnancy, and to provide valuable evidence in disrupted, disrupted, in disputed paternity cases. histo compatibility antigens are associated with the plasma membrane of tissue cells these are specific for each individual of a species these are very important when some tissues is transplanted from one individual to another human leukocyte antigen in short hla is the more is the major histo compatibility antigen determining homograft rejection Now let's know about auto specificity. Self antigens are generally non antigenic, but there are exceptions. These exceptions are lens.
protein and sperm there are these are not recognized as self antigens lens protein normally confined within the within its capsule does not come in contact with immune system therefore it is not recognized similar antigens like sperm that are absent during the embryogenic development and develop later are also not recognized by immune system when these antigens are released into tissues following injury antibodies are produced against them mechanism in pathogenesis of autoimmune diseases is also similar the immune, the antigenic specificity of uh, of self antigens may be modified as a result of infection or irradiation and may thus act as non self the immune response against these modified antigens may lead to autoimmune diseases now let's know about organ specificity organ specific antigens are confined to a particular organ some organs like brain kidney and lens protein of one species share specificity with that of another species as brain specifies specific antigens are shared by man and sheep anti rabic vaccine that is in the, from sheep brain vaccine may cause neuroparalytic complications in man anti uh, anti rabic vaccine that is developed in sheep brain contains large amount of particular uh, large amount of partially denatured brain tissue in man the sheep brain tissue induces immune response causing damage to the recipient's nervous tissue now let's know about heterophile specificity the same or closely related antigens present in different tissues of more than one species are known as heterophile antigens antibodies to these antigens produced by one species cross react with antigens of other species example forsman antigen let's know about some example first is forsman antigen this it is a lipoprotein polysaccharide complex widely present in man animals birds and bacteria now let's know about another example that is well felix reaction serum of patient suffering from typhus typhus fever containing heterophile antibody agglutinates stains of proteus species that is ox19 ox2 oxk this is due to presence of heterophile antigen on rickettsia causing typhus fever shared by these protein proteus strains now let's know about another example that is paul brunel test in infects in infectious no mononucleus in infectious mononucleosis heterophile antibodies appear in the serum of the patient these antibodies agglutinate agglutinate sheep erythrocytes because epstein barr virus shares antigen with sheep erythrocytes now let's know about super uh, super antigens super antigens super antigens are molecules that uh, that can interact with antigen presenting cells in short apcs and t lymphocytes in a non specific manner these antigens do not involve the endocytic processing as required in typic uh, typical antigen presentation interaction of super antigens with mhc class 2 molecules of the apc and bb domain of the t lymphocyte receptor activates a large number of t lymphocytes than conventional antigens this leads to massive cytokine expression and immunomodulation staphylococcal enterotoxins exfoliative toxin and some viral proteins are example of super antigens finally antigen chapter finish and in antigen there are many vast course but uh, here i explained like uh, this you can understand antigen 
some small idea about antigen so any questions regarding antigen you can ask me in the comment box and subscribe my channel to more updates thank you